All right, we are going to look at um, a relationship between x and y. We are going to suppose that x and y vary inversely, and we're going to write a function that models inverse variation from a given point. Now, we're going to say that um, x equals 1.2 when y equals 3. Okay, we're told these vary inversely. Alright, so what does that mean? That means that we use our inverse variations. So, y equals k over x. Okay, now I want this to be solved for k because we have to find k. So if we multiply both sides by x, we have that x times y is equal to k. So 1.2 times 3 equals k. Well, if I take 1.2 times 3, I am going to get 3.6. That is equal to k. So our equation then is y equals 3.6 divided by x. Okay, there's our model. Our value for k is 3.6. Now, we're told to graph this function. Well, how do we graph this? Make a table. Pick values for x, plug them in, and get answers for y. Alrighty. Um, I'm just going to use the most common numbers. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. Okay? So, if I take my negative 2, I say 3.6 divided by the x value, negative 2, and I get negative 1.8. All right. Then I take 3.6 divided by negative 1. Well, I'm going to get negative 3.6. Now, here's a problem. When I take 3.6 divided by 0, you can't divide by 0. This is undefined. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that the y-axis is a vertical asymptote. It is not part of the graph. So, I am going to use a different color and put in my vertical asymptote. What does that mean? means it will not cross the y-axis. All right, well, let's finish getting the rest of our points, and then we will graph this. All right, if I plugged in positive 1, well, 3.6 divided by 1 is 3.6. And if I took 3.6 divided by positive 2, I am going to get positive 1.8. Okay, let's plot these points and see what it looks like. Okay, well, at negative 2, I am at negative 1.8. So it's almost a negative 2. And at negative 1, I am at negative 3.6. A little bit lower than three and a half right there. 
Now, let's try one more point. Let's try our negative 3. Why? So I can see what it's doing over here. Okay. So if I take 3.6 divided by negative 3, I get negative 1.2. So that means at positive 3, it'll be at positive 1.2. All right, negative 3. Negative 1.2 is just a little below negative 1. Do you see how this is curving like this? Now, our x-axis is actually a vertical, a horizontal asymptote for these. Why? Because there's no number out here. All right. So, our horizontal asymptote is the x-axis. What does that mean? It's not going to cross the x-axis. So, it's not going to cross the x-axis. It's not going to cross the y-axis. So, this part, it's going to approach our x-axis, curves like this. It gets really close to the y-axis. All right, there's my arrow goes on forever that way as well. Now, if we do the positives, at positive 1, we are up at 3.6, a little over 3.5, right there. At 2, we're at 1.8, so it's almost up to 2, like there. And then at 3, we'll be at 1.2. See how it's curving like the other one? This one is going to start out close to the y-axis. It's going to curve like this. All right, get our arrows. All right, there we have it. That is what our graphs are going to look like. Now, we're told to find the value of y when x is 10. So what does that mean? Plug 10 in for x. So y equals 3.6 divided by 10. Well, if we take 3.6 divided by 10, we are going to get 0 0.36. So y equals 0 0.36. So we've done all of the parts now. We wrote our function right here. We've graphed. Here, and we found the value of y when x is 10. All right, enjoy these. Bye bye.